in the beautiful city of Rouen, France. And I found this little courtyard. It's nice and cool under the trees. Nice breeze. I think it's a bunch of artist studios. I haven't found any information in English about it yet. I'm going to wander around a little bit. But I, first I want to do a little oil painting. I think I want to just capture this little corner of the inner courtyard with the stairway. The shadows on the stairs and the wooden beams. Really beautiful little scene. Should be pretty quick as long as I get the drawing right. Um, there's not a lot of colors in the scene. Browns and whites and yellows. A little bit of blue. So I'll start with a pretty detailed sketch on my linen, oil primed linen panel and then I'll move into sealing the pencil sketch with a thin wash of Gamsol and then I'll mix my colors matching the scene. Since I'm in the shade here it's it's pretty hot in the sun. When I get when I go to mix the colors I might might move my palette out into the sun just so I have sun on the color I can judge the the value and the color a little easier than when I'm in the shade. Alright there's the drawing in I took my time on it. It's a nice spot. I think the light will last quite a while since the days are so long. Now I'll do a Gansol wash just to seal the drawing and to hint at some of the underlying colors. Cover the white of the panel basically. I'm finding it's fine if the Gansol mixes with the graphite from pencil or charcoal. It doesn't seem to hurt the, the layer, that first initial layer, very thin diluted layer of paint. It just kind of holds the initial drawing. So I'm finding the looser I can be on the initial drawing, then the looser the painting will remain. So I tr I'm trying not to use the straight edge too often, just once in a while where I definitely see a, a straight line that I want to capture. All right, so I'll use a small brush, maybe a few different small brushes, and fill in some blues and reds and browns, yellows, just hint at some of the colors in the, in the scene. Um, I'll try to just use my primary plein air set, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, burnt umber, burnt, burnt umber, alizarin crimson, ked red, ked yellow, Windsor lemon, yellow ochre, and titanium white and ivory black. Here's the Gamsol wash in with the sketch sealed. Now I'll proceed to mix the colors. I'm going to move my palette so that it's in the sun. I want sun on my palette and sun on my palette knife as I'm mixing the colors so I can compare it to the colors in the scene. Alright, I've got the colors mixed up for the scene. I've got two kind of very high value mother colors for the sun on the plaster and this is sun on the plaster in the corners where it has a real orange hue to it. And I've got the plaster in the shade here and I can bend that more blue or more red by adding cerulean blue or ultramarine blue or alizarin crimson. Then I've got the different wood colors, the darkest shadow blue and red, darkest shadow blue, green, kind of a orange and slightly more red. So all pretty close in value. The wood is all pretty dark. Um, I didn't mix up colors for the roof. I think I think I can just use like a mix of this and this and maybe add some white to get the, the value and the, the, the color that I want. I've got a couple. I used up most of the leftover colors I had here. I've got a couple left that I can dip into if I need to. a little shot of green. Like there's some grass and stuff down here that I could use those colors for.
Stéphane. Bonjour. Euh, on se posait des questions sur ce lieu parce uh, qu'on connaît. Parlez-vous Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Um, the wood um, part is old. Yes, yeah. And why is there only. Um, comment on dit un crâne um, Dead uh, face Ah, parce que ça used to be a cemetery. Ah, it, it was a cemetery here Yes, ancient and, cemetery. And do you know why the statue are um, uh, failed uh, with, without the heads? I don't know that. You no. don't know? No. Oh, okay. There's a young lady um, named Manon who. Manon? Yeah, who is she, from the, this part? She, yeah, the she, wor she works for the park. Okay. Um, and she, she was telling me this used to be a cemetery, but. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't ask about the statues. That's a good question. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm approaching this a little haphazardly, I think because I'm tired. Um, normally I would attack the lights and then the darks, or the darks and then the lights, but I'm just kind of jumping around. Um, I think it's because I didn't sleep real well because of jet lag, and because I've been painting a lot, and I'm just, I'm physically tired, so... I want to push through and try to get this to a a reasonable stopping point. But if I find I'm getting sloppy, I'm going to stop and finish it later. Try to stay with the shadow pattern I saw earlier that I blocked in. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so I'm sorry, so uh, we're closing the court here. Ah. Now. Now? Oh, yes. Okay. So I'm sorry. So That's all right. Yes, so I think uh, you're not doing this in five minutes, so I check this with the restaurant. I can exit the courtyard through the restaurant, so I think I can finish, but I'm going to have to move quickly. Um, the light is. It is continuing to change, and I don't want to chase it. So I'm going to move quickly. I'll, I may add some voiceover later. Sorry, Mister. My boss is not is not okay. Okay. So I don't know when you have finished. But uh, you have to leave uh, when you finish it. Okay. Uh, so I'm so sorry. Maybe one and a half more hours? It's not possible. It's only for consumer. Oh, can I buy something? And so it's uh, only eat, eating food. Um, can I make a purchase of a dinner or something? Could I stay and finish? I, I ask my uh, neighbor. It's not possible. Not possible. My boss is not okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry. Appreciate it. All right. I'm back here for day two. It's about the same time I started yesterday, so I should have plenty of light. 
they did ask me to leave. Um, I tried to pay for a dinner or something to be able to stay, but the restaurant didn't want to take responsibility for me. I can understand that, so they politely, politely asked me to clean up and, and leave the park. So luckily we're here for two nights, so I'm able to come back and finish the painting. Here's where I left off. Pretty strong backlighting. I hope you can see all the paint. So I'm going to try to be a little more methodical as I finish the painting. I'm going to paint the darks. Well, finish painting the darks. That's kind of what I was mainly focusing on last night. After painting the, the roof, I went into painting the, the darks. So I want to do that, establish the, the shadow pattern. I think I'll just go with the shadow pattern that's there right now. And then I'll move into the, the lights, the light on the stucco and the lights on the wood. All right, I've got my remaining colors laid out from darkest to lightest. This is the mother color I mixed up, mainly the color where the sun is hitting the stucco. These are the darkest shadows in the wood. I'm gonna go with this kind of small, it's a zero evergreen, long flat from Rosemary and Co. And just try to finish drawing in the shadow on the wood. And then the shadow on the stucco. And then I'll go into the lights. It may look like I'm just coloring in the lines, and that's true to a degree. It's true that I want to preserve the drawing in the painting. I spent a lot of time on it, and it came out well. It had good perspective and a convincing sense of space, so no reason to lose that work as I pile on the paint. However, I'm deviating or destroying the drawing where necessary to help the painting. For instance, if something looks off as I paint it, I correct it. I'm also adjusting edges. Everything in the drawing was defined by a clear edge, which makes a good line drawing, but it's kind of tedious in an oil painting, in my opinion. So I'm trying to blur some of the edges, lose some edges where, wherever I can, especially where it's away from the center of interest, which is that central covered staircase. Here you can see on the right, I have my portable LED bar light, which is powered by my battery pack. I'm using it because it's pretty dark in the shade of the trees in the courtyard. I'm also using my telescoping back scratcher mall stick for some of the finer details and where I can't rest my hand on the panel. I'm hoping that if I use some kind of cooler tones behind these sunlit greenish slats, it'll make it feel like there's distance behind in the room. Some of these windows up here are reflecting the sky, so I need to use a little bit of that light blue-gray. Here's where it ended up. Pretty happy with that. Pretty strongly backlit. Let me try to move into a little better light to see the picture. Well, it's hard to capture an image with without any glare. 
so I will take a better picture and some better light later and post it. This was a blast. I'm really enjoying my trip in France. Really enjoying the Viking cruise. Thanks so, so much for coming along, and I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to support the channel, please visit my website. I sell these little plain air pieces at a reasonable price because I consider them practice. It really makes me happy when someone likes my art enough that they want to hang it in their home. You can also sign up for my newsletter and stay up to date on my new work and shows and get a discount on original art and prints.